Why the US government decapitated 365 B-52 bombers with a guillotine is not what you think. This guillotine weighs 13,500 pounds and when dropped from a crane, it could slice through a B-52 bomber like it was butter. The parts were then laid out at the boneyard for 90 days, just so the Soviets could verify through satellite imagery that the B-52s were in fact destroyed beyond repair. That's because the United States and the Soviet Union of 1990s agreed on one thing. They both had way too many nuclear weapons and an abundance of bomber airplanes and submarines that could launch them. So in 1991, the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty was signed and for the Americans, one of their obligations was cutting 365 B-52s into pieces. And this is also why after a nuclear-powered submarine is decommissioned, the entire reactor compartment and the adjoining areas are cut off from the submarine and sealed. The reactor is then transported by barge on the Columbia River, where the decommissioned reactor is stored in an open-air area just so that it can be verified by Russian officials via satellite.